Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will determine the range of values of P and Q for the stability of the LTI system with impulse response as h of n is equal to p to the power n when n is what smaller than 0 and q to the power n when n is what greater than equal to 0. Fine, you have to find out the range of values of p and q for the stability of this system. Okay. So basically, we know, right, a discrete time system is stable if summation summation of absolute value of h of n over the limit ranges from n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity is smaller than infinity, right? We already know this thing. Now, let's calculate this, fine. Let's calculate this. So, this will become what? summation so this p to the power n is defined for n is smaller than 0 it means it is defined for from n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 right mod p to the power n plus another it is defined for n is equal to 0 to infinity q to the power n right now what i want i want this n to be always positive so if i want this n limit to be always positive so what i will do basically first let's change the limit of this from negative to positive side so when i do like this summation n equal to 1 to infinity i'm changing the limit okay 1 to infinity so in this case this p to the power n will become what? p to the power minus n. Fine. Plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity q to the power n. Hope it is clear to you. Now as I told you, I want n is always positive. So what to do here? You can write the same as summation n is equal to 1 to infinity. Right. This you can write at 1 divided by p to the power n right plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity modulus of q to the power n i hope this much is clear to you now now let's solve further okay so basically we can write this as what summation of 1 upon absolute value of p to the power n and the limit will be from n is equal to 1 to infinity plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity n is equal to what 0 to infinity q to the power n i hope this much is clear to you fine now let's go further and you can write this as what basically summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 divided by absolute value of p to the power n plus you can write this as n is equal to 0 to infinity absolute value of q to the power n okay hope this much is clear to you now what i want is i want to change this limit to uh, from n is equal to 0 to infinity because i want to apply some formula some geometric series formula so i want to do this change so what i can do here simply think of it if I will go from 0 means if I will include n is equal to 0 also so what will happen now tell me if I will do this to the power 0 so it will give me 1 right it will give me 1 so if I want to include one more term and if I will subtract it by this minus 1 then I will again come to the same stage fine that is why what I am doing is summation 
n is equal to 0 to infinity okay 1 upon mod p we can write this as this okay minus 1 why minus 1 because I have included one extra term which is n is equal to 0 and at n is equal to 0 this will give you 1 that is why I am doing minus 1 so I will come to the original state again fine plus now summation n is equal to 0 to infinity okay mod of q power n now this you have to remember this thing now we are going to apply the formula on this particular term so basically let's move on and see some more thing so the summation of infinite terms in the above equation okay converges if if what if the value of 1 divided by mod of p is greater than 0 and is smaller than 1 and same for this q mod of q should be greater than 0 and is smaller than 1 right so hence by using infinite geometric series formula what is that formula infinite series geometric series formula it is it says summation of c to the power n when n ranges from 0 to infinity this is equal to what 1 divided by 1 minus c when if this mod of c lies between 0 and 1 so this same formula we are going to apply for these terms so when you apply for this term the same formula so what you will get basically that you have to take care basically fine so summation n is equal to 0 to infinity uh, sorry n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity h of n we are doing for this only right so this we got right apply the formula on this particular case so in the place of c we have 1 divided by absolute value of p right so it will become 1 divided by 1 minus 1 upon absolute value of p minus 1 is there plus apply the same formula here so it will become 1 divided by 1 minus q absolute value of q fine and this will give you what this should give you what constant a constant fine a finite value when it will give you a finite value at that condition we can say the system is stable so the system is stable if now tell me this particular case should not be zero right and this also should not be zero if it becomes zero then what will happen one by zero infinity one by zero infinity so it will become infinity right so when it can't be zero and when this can't be zero if the value of mod of p is greater than one this can't be zero right and if the value of mod of q should be smaller than one right so inequality you have seen right so basically what is our criteria 1 minus this particular case this should be what this should be greater than 0 so if this should be greater than 0 it means what mod of q should be smaller than 1 right inequalities in class 11th or 12th we have learned this and for this same do the same this should be what greater than 0 so if this should be greater than 0 greater than 0 it means what basically it means mod of p should be greater than 1 okay so hope it is clear to you now so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section or if you have any doubt with this just uh, revise your uh, concepts of inequalities so so what is basically here see let me solve this i don't want any confusion so this will go this way so assume like greater so one upon p this will go this way so this becomes one that is what our condition says right and this will go this way and this will become this fine so 
hope now it is clear to you so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel